Well, I spent most of the morning caging apple trees, and here's a, a row of them that I caged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Some of them aren't out of the tubes yet, so I didn't cage those. Getting close. Now that's a persimmons tree that is growing. There could be a pecan. Yeah. I planted both pecans and persimmons on here. There's another one. Two years ago. So here's an apple tree. You can see how it's really getting eat down. So now I'm saving it. Here's one that popped out of the tube and the deer started eating it. So now I can't get at it. There's another one. Here's one that's not on a tube yet. I could probably make another five or six cages out of the wire I got. I got a bunch of fencing from a guy that used to have a turkey farm. And he uh, sold it all, all to me for like 20 bucks, 150 feet of it. That's what I've been making cages with. Oh, well, I wanted to show you the coppicing. I know I'm not sure how long I coppice these trees, but might be seven, eight years ago. They aren't that big to begin with. But now I've got, where I cut that small one, now I've got five of them growing out of there. Actually four, four that are alive. Three in that one. Three or four in that one. Three nice ones there. So I cut those off of there again and they'll grow some more saplings. Ooh, there's a nice, nice representative here. So this is that big when I cut it. You can see they grew some really nice ones out of here. I think there's five of them that are alive. Turn one tree into five. There's another one. There's only two of them there living here. One tree into two. So that's coppicing. That's when you cut it down near the ground. And after you cut it, then it grows multiple saplings. Oh, it looks like a jungle. These are all been pollarded. Now this is a beach right here. I left that one. I didn't pollard that. It's growing nice. And then here's a pollard right here. You see instead of one branch going up, there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five of them. Here's a maple that I pollarded. Let's get over there. This is a maple. Look at them all growing out of there. <laughs> Look at that. Bigger one come out of the bottom. Another maple right next door. One, two, three. A lot of little ones. Four, five, six, seven. That's got all of that. Seven of them too. That's pretty cool. Here's a big one that I pollarded. Don't ask me how I got it. Well, I got that high because it's still in the stump. And look at them all. There's probably a dozen.
That's called creating more biomass. Nice. I think this is a cherry tree here. I don't know what that is. I think it's a cherry. It'd never be this shady in here without me pollarding these things. Yeah. Some of them aren't spectacular, but still there's more biomass. Look at this one. That one's growing lots. Some down on that knob. Yeah, look at that. Looks like a knob right there. Like three of them growing out of there, and then there's two, four, six of them growing out of the top, seven. There's a couple little ones in the back. So instead of reaching for the sky with one single branch, we're creating a lot of different branches and we're creating all this wonderful shade. And we're creating a lot, of di lot more leaves. And all that leaf. Some of those big trees don't even have that, ma that many leaves. There's a lot of nice ones over here too. Yeah, all those branches. It's crazy. <laughs> this has got to be the best one here. So I cut this one, it was pretty big. It looks like maybe six, di six inches in diameter. There's a lot of branches, look at Just a ton of them. Lots and lots of leaves. Well, that's why you do it. Create more tree. This one was taller too, but this is kind of by itself, so the branches aren't growing straight up like the others. A lot of branches that are growing out. Still, look at all the leaves. Just a ton and ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of leaves. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> 